Hi, I'm Chloe. I have three children aged six, four and 12 months old. They are all currently rear facing in our car. When it came to my first baby moving out of this infant car seat, I didn't have a lot of time to research options. It was more of a case of, oh quick, he's outgrown his seat. We need to get a new one as soon as possible. If you were to ask me then, why is rear facing safer? I wouldn't have been able to tell you too much. Along the way, I've become more and more interested in car seat safety and I've had the time to read more into it. As parents, we have limited time and there are some things where there's just such a wealth of information out there that it can be hard to know where to begin. So I'm here to break down the facts of extended rear facing for you. The first thing to know about extended rear facing and why exactly it is safer is that it is all to do with the spine. Babies and young children have heads that are proportionally larger than their bodies. Bodies. Their muscles and bones are still adapting in order to catch up with the heavier weight of their head. The impact of a crash can have devastating effects for the neck, spine and head of a young child. However, when rear facing, the impact of a crash is far, far minimised because instead of being flung forward in their seat, putting an immense amount of pressure onto that delicate neck area, they are pushed back into their seat. Extended rear facing is the only way to give a young child's neck the protection that it needs. So if this is the case, then why aren't all car seats rear facing? Why are forward facing seats available from such a young age? The answer is that the tests that UK car seats need to pass in order to go on sale don't actually measure neck loads. If the test did actually measure the effect of a crash on a child's neck, no forward facing seat would ever pass. But what about the chances of a broken leg when a child is rear facing? Aren't those chances increased? In a hypothetical situation, if I could choose a broken leg over what is without a doubt the most fragile part of the body, the head, the neck, the spine, I mean, it's an obvious answer really. This is my four year old in his rear facing seat. As you can see, he's completely comfy. He's got a lot of room and he's got a really good view out of both his window and the rear view window. He's able to put his legs in a variety of different positions. Many rear facing car seats go from birth to six years old, which makes everything so much more straightforward and affordable. Don't worry if you can't find a rear facing seat in the high street shops. There are so many rear facing seats on the market and plenty of specialist retailers that are there to give you advice and support. Extended rear facing is the norm in Sweden and to put it bluntly, children in Sweden do not die in car crashes. When we first started rear facing, I had no idea how long we would do it for. I definitely didn't imagine that we'd still be doing it up to the age of six. But all of the initial worries I had about rear facing have turned out to be totally not true. Rear facing is such a normal part of our family life and it puts my mind at ease to know that my children are as safe as they can possibly be in our car. Thank you for watching. Bye.